Hi everybody, it's Doodlebug Stitcher. Welcome to my channel. Today is Saturday, November 3rd. This is floss tube number 16 and welcome to my channel. Um, if you are a new viewer, thank you so much for joining us. Um, you will come to know me. I am, oh God, my hair is awful. Uh, basically I'm a hot mess most of the time so welcome to the madness um, if you are a returning viewer and a subscriber thank you so much for joining me again it has been a couple of weeks um, so I should say long time no see and that oh god what is going on with the hair okay sorry this background I'm in a different background as you can see um, I am sick and you can probably hear it I mentioned it in my last video and it has not gotten any better. I did go to the doctor this past week and we wanted to rule out that it was pneumonia. And while they ruled that out, they discovered another problem. I apparently have a compression fracture of the T12 vertebrae in my back. You know, why not do it well? If you can do it, do it well, apparently. So I'm just a hot mess. So I can't really lift anything heavy. Um, I'm still like this and I'm coughing a lot, which makes the pain that I have in my chest area that much more excruciating. And to top it off, I'm dealing with the bureaucratic mess of uh, medical insurance and doctors and all of that. So I'm not one to talk about politics, but if I can do anything to is to tell you get out and vote this week um, on Tuesday get out and vote because your vote really does count and it's going to impact your you and your health and your medical coverage just get out there and just go vote that's all I can say and that's all the politicking up you're ever gonna hear from me so go vote so what have I been doing besides being sick. Um, I last talked to you before my daughter's book fair. I volunteered for that, um, so I, I was one of the main volunteers for that week, so um, I didn't get a lot of stitching done. Um, but I did spin the wheel that week for, oh sorry, I've got floss. You should see my bed right now. I'm in my bedroom and you should, it's covered in cross stitch stuff. So I had spun for that Saturday, spin the wheel Saturday, which was Bent Creek Summer Row. That was one of my mania starts. And I can show you how far I made with it. Um, I'm really happy with the progress. I've got just a little bit left to do. So, oh, can't see. Hold on. I have to put something behind it because otherwise you see right through it. So, that, and that. So, I'm making some good progress with it. Um, and then, I've also been, um, and then this past Saturday, I did, um, I spun the wheel while I was sick. So that I wouldn't lose time on that. So, I spun last week. For I don't have the chart with me. It's um, the Country Forest Sampler that I've been working on. Again, this was a mania start. I apologize, I don't have the chart here. It's in the other room. And I've asked the family to kind of leave me be while I'm recording since I'm in another place and everybody's home today. It's a hot mess in my house. So... I made some progress on it. I got all of the trees done in the first row and I'm almost finished the last tree in the second row. And then I'll move down and do the, um, the start to work on the bottom. So um, I was happy with the progress I made on that. And then I didn't spin the wheel yet. Um, I know today is Saturday, but my stitch along, um, stitch along, if I can move everything out of the way. If you saw what my bed looked like right now, it's a hot, hot mess. It really is. Um, so I 
what I was saying is, is that I didn't spin yet for today because normally the stiatch along um, is the pattern comes up comes out on Saturday night and everybody stitches on it on Sunday and then this week they changed it up and the pattern came out Friday night last night so I'm stitching the stiatch along week four this week or today so this is the progress that I made this is again with the light geez Louise um, so this is the pattern so far that I've done and then I'm starting to do week four's pattern there and then this fabric I don't know if I mentioned it before this is um, ships manor um, hand dyed fabric this is a um, 32 count Lugana and I really I just grabbed this out of my stash I had it in my stash and I really am happy with it I definitely will buy more fabric from ships manor it's really really pretty so instead of doing spin the well Saturday we're gonna do spin the well Sunday because whatever I spin today is what I'll, I'll stitch on tomorrow so I have oh hold on I I I I hate that the one thing I don't like about this app is it has ads and that's one thing I hate so we're gonna spin, oh this is my tablet sorry oh geez what did I do I'm a I told you I'm a hot mess I, I can't even function for some reason all right no we don't want that no please hold sorry I don't know what it's doing edit I don't know I want to change hold on I gotta change this back because it changed my background okay so we're back get them done we're gonna spin and this will be what I work on for tomorrow get them done. oh wonderful this is the Main Street series from Country Cottage Needleworks and I haven't touched this since Mania so I'm I'm excited because I would like to try and get that done soon so I can get framed for next year. Um, so um, that'll be Main Street Series, Country Cottage Needleworks, and I'll be working on that tomorrow. So um, in addition to uh, the stiatch along and everything else, I, um, I'm going to be starting some new projects um, that's one of the things while I'm sick I decided that I was going to go through and pull some things I did get um, this is one of the projects that I'll be working on this is the new Santa's list from Country Cottage Needleworks and I'm going to be doing this this is a stitch along that Priscilla and Chelsea are doing and I have my flosses pulled um, I decided to change it up a little bit so I'm going to be using the chart calls for ribbon red and I'm going to be using lift up. I don't know yet I might I'm waiting for my my ribbon red to come and I might be using it or licorice red um, I'm also instead of using the four leaf clover that it calls for I'm going to be using um, General Arts Grape Leaf, which is a really, it's a darker green, and it kind of goes with the colors that we decorate in. And instead of the bamboo, I'm using Toasted Marshmallow from Classic Color Works. And then I still have one color of DMT that I did not have in my stash, so I need to either check Walmart or AC Moore or Michaels for it. Um, it's the Peach, the 754 DMT, which for some reason, I didn't have that shade. Um, 
Uh, while I've been sick, I've like sorted all my DNC out and I um, put them in bags by the color number. Um, so like all my 900 series are in one bag and all my 3000 series are in one bag and then the 3200s and so forth. It, it, you know how it is. And then I also have to um, go through fabric and find a fabric and if I can't find something that I like I might dye something because um, I want to start getting back into dyeing. I'm also going to uh, try a batch of ice dyeing with the powdered writ dyes, which I've never done before. Um, so that's going to be an upcoming project. And then I also um, I'm thinking about dyeing some flaws. It'll be interesting, um, to say the least. So we'll see. Um, I do have some haul to show you just because it's been a couple weeks and things have come in and I haven't wanted to unpack them until I showed them to you guys first. Um, so one of the first things I'll show you is this bag, which I bartered with Cheryl McKinney, Tranquil Stitcher. Um, she ha was up for bartering, and so I bartered her this bag that she made. And she did, She said it was a like um, a second because the inside fabric over in this corner is a little wrinkled. I don't care. Are you kidding me? This bag is perfect. Cheryl, are you serious? So I bartered with her for some fabric, um, which I think that she's gotten. I have to catch up on my floss too because I'm like way behind. Um, so thank you Cheryl for this, for the barter. And then I also got some Dilly Daddle bags. Um, I've got a I've got enough Christmas themed bags I think now. Um, so I wanted to get some other bags that were kind of like for other seasons. So I, she had this one on her shop and in her Instagram, and I really like that because it's. Um, starfish so I thought it's perfect for summer and my I love teal so as you can probably tell and then I also got this bag which I think this is it look it reads fall to me but it could be um, just a general it's just general flowers and the lining is the same as the accent and then she made this one for me out of fabric that I sent her and this is a Christmas bag. It's got everything that I love. It's got stars. It's got um, metallic. You can see there the metallic. It's got red and black and white buffalo check. And it's got polka dots. This is like a dream come true. And the um, if you can see there, there um, it says Merry Christmas to all and to all good night. Which I love. So I got those bags, so thank you, Teresa, for those. Um, I greatly love them. Um, what else did I get? I got, uh, oh, I got um, a huge bunch of Victorian motto flosses. So if y'all don't know, um, Nancy um, at Victorian motto flosses, um, she does a, um, she does like um a floss club brain brain freeze sorry she does a floss club and so these were the the October flosses because she hasn't shipped the November flosses yet um, so these were what I got in October and I get the primitive and this is the first time I'm opening them so um, this will be this will be interesting um, lots of blues in this monthly set um, so I'll show them to you. This is 1820 sampler. And I don't know, this lighting is not really the best. This is Olden Colonial, which is a little brighter. Um, that's it for the blues. There's this one, which is called Crystal Gem. 
which is really pretty. Kind of reminds me of Old Money from Classic Color Works. Um, there's this one, which I am in love with. It's um, It reads more yellow, but it's called Pumpkin Smoothie. And I'll take a picture of these and put them on my Instagram because, again, the lighting is really bad. It's like I can't get good lighting anywhere in this house. It's pitiful. This is um, Classic Moss, which is kind of like a, a goldy camo color. It's really pretty. Like a camo, like a goldy green camo. This one I love. It's called Rum and Raisin. And now I want some more raisin ice cream. Maybe I can go to the store and get some. This is called Hazelwood Branches, which is real pretty. It's a brown. It's um, This one has a DMC conversion to 839. Um, then we have Eskimo Basket. The name Jeanette Nancy comes up with, I, I'm like in awe of. Cause I'm like, where would you come up with that name? Swamp grass, which I need to figure out a project to put that in because I love that green. Um, then we have October pumpkin, which is another one that I love. And I think I might um, have a project that that can go in. And then I need to... I'm going to email Nancy because this this is winter white and I need like five skeins of it. And so I need to find out if she can, if I can custom order that. Poncho Brown, that's another one. And that's really, the lighting is so bad and I apologize. So those are the limited edition colors and then in in addition to the limited edition, wow, say that three times fast, um, I got the second set of grays, um, the Bewitching series. This is Bewitching Hour. Um, and if you saw, I was lucky enough to win a set. So um, I then, the set that I paid for, I traded that in and I'm getting the third set. Um, so I paid for one set and got one one set. So these are all the grays. Again, I'm still missing the first set. If anybody wants to be my best friend in the world and tell me there's, um, there's a couple of the colors from the first set that I'm really, really like chomping at the bit for. So if you know anybody um, who got them and is interested in selling them please point them my way um i'm willing to paypal right away for those so these are the some darker ones this is zombie again i'll put them here zombie whispering shadow haunted graveyard and swaying tombstone real pretty they're all different um like whispering shadows has more blue in it it's more of a bluey gray where swaying tombstones has more a little bit more browner tone and then zombie is like a lighter shade of whispering shadows very very pretty um this is probably my favorite of one of I'll say this is my in my top three of the set this is cauldron bubble which I love it's got variegated great gradation in that I love it um I also love this one which is like a traditional like gray this is monster in the dark love 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 uh, this is fog in the lagoon um, it's got a little bit of a hint of lavender in it, which is really pretty. This is Moonlight Creatures, which has got a little bit of a hint of, um, I want to say like a taupey gray. This is Creeping Fog. Um, again, uh, more of like uh, a pinky 
lavender tone undertone to it and then there is bewitching which has got some like blue then there's this one this is like my top favorite this is darkness calling which is like gray almost black so pretty and ghouls and goblins that's like a like a true light gray or medium gray I would say um, so those are all my bewitching hour threads <laughs> wait to easy you won't see this in the video but uh, I should film me trying to put these all back in their boxes because it would be hilarious and then the last that I got was the return to sleepy hollow which I knew when she announced it I knew I had to have this one because it's like my favorite colors of how of, of fall so and I love the way she spins them together so we have return to sleepy hollow such a pretty orange um, we have oh I love the name again the names on these galloping hessian oh galloping hessian which is like this dark brown color. It's like the color of a horse. And we have spirited pumpkin, which is like a brighter yellowy pumpkin color. So pretty. And then this one is dark horse. Very cute. Again, a color of a horse, but darker than hessian. And then the next group is Ichabod Crane, which it's purple, my favorite color. And then there's Haunted Bridge, which is like a darker reddish uh, rust. Oh, I think my mail's here. This is a beautiful, darker, like plummy purple called the Schoolmaster. And this is an orange, which I, I'm in love with. It's called Ghost of the Hollow. Really, really love these colors. Um, again, the names on these. Fiery Eyes Pumpkin. I can just see, I can just envision this in my mind, the, the story of Sleepy Hollow and, and the, pump, the glowing pumpkin, and that would be their eyes. It's so perfect. This is Headless Horseman, which is um, an orange, but it's more of a reddy orange. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to have to find some Halloween um, charts to use these in. Um, this is Old Tombstones. Again, oh sorry would work perfectly with that set of grays and you can hear my voice is going even worse um and shadows beset your path I, I i can't even with these these colors and these names i just it's amazing so those were all the um those were all the losses that i received and then I got my October fabric of the month, which is gorgeous. And I get a 36 count linen from Victorian Motto as my my fabric of the month. Can you see that? I, the, it's, a, it's not doing it justice because the lighting, like I said, is, you know, piss poor. But... Can you see that modeling? Like, oh my God, let me get closer. Can you see it? It's gorgeous. It really, really is. It's, I'm, I'm more and more impressed with, with the fabrics that I'm receiving. So, and then I've signed up for fabric, I've signed up for several fabric of the month because I want to build up my fabric stash especially with my over dyed fabrics because I have a lot of fabrics that are just plain like Wichelt or Swigart fabrics but I want some more that are like unique and over dyed um, speaking of which one of the projects that I 
I showed this to you in a previous video. This was one of my unicorn charts, um, Blackbird Designs, um, Blackbird's Winter Delivery. My dad's um, nickname was Crow, so I have a thing for black crows. Um, especially now, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of him passing away, so I'm really, really interested in doing more crow patterns. So this chart it, um, was done, or this design was done on 28 count cranberry bog from R and R, which is no longer in product that is no longer made. Um, and as far as I know, um, Dying Stitch is not R and R is not planning to um, do this colorway again. So I was trying to find just the right red to do. And um, there is a over dye or a fabric dyer on the. Um, um, cross stitch D stash board. Her name is Oksana and she hand dyes fabric and she uh, had this fabric and I was like, Ugh. oh my God, I need this. And so she doesn't have, she dyes more on um, Ada's and 28s and 32 counts. Um, every once in a while she do a 40 count, but she had this fabric and she had it in 32 count and I was like I need it and so I bought a piece it's fairly large it's 17 and a half by 28 but I want to show this to you and I immediately thought I could do it I could do that chart and again I apologize for the lighting but you can see it's that red um, get it closer. Oh my god, isn't that not the most gorgeous thing on earth? So, this will be my fabric for um, winter delivery. I'm planning to start stitching it um, over the Christmas break. Now that I have the fabric, I need to start looking at flosses. So, I'll be up to my elbows in floss while I'm healing. And Sitting, sitting hurts, laying down hurts. It's just um, in a lot of pain from it. And so I apologize. This is one of the reasons why I had put off filming. Because I just can't be in a, I can't get in a comfortable position. And I didn't want to put you guys through that, but I'm sorry. Um, so... I have that I'm going to be working on. I have Santa's list that I'm going to be working on. Um, also, I um, need to start looking at fabric for my waxy moon houses um, and deciding what I want to do as far as flosses. I, I don't, I might, I'm going to do it in over dyed, but I might switch them around because these call for all general arts. So I'm going to see what I have and then play a little bit with um, the different colors. And then I do have, oh, I have one more thing to show here. And this is a tribute to Steph from Pam and Steph at Just Keep Stitching. This is threads that were sent to me from Nancy at Victoria Motto and this and I don't know if Steph I don't know if Steph mentioned these or not this is banana pants yellow could you die could you just die like shut I'm gonna go full on Steph here shut the front door banana pants yellow oh my god so, Stephanie, I went, as soon as I saw she had that, I was like, please, may I get this from you? Please, please, please. So, if you don't have this stuff, let me know. I will get you some. Um, my treat, because that's an awesome color. Um, so, forthcoming, I have to get myself on the mend. I don't know how, I don't know when. I just realized I forgot to show you something, but I'll show it next week. Um, 
So my hope is to rest, stitch, um, eat some Halloween candy. Oh, I just threw my Kit Kat. Yeah, just a little bit of Halloween goodies for my daughter. Um, and other than that, this has just been a hot mess of a video. So if you're still here, I give you kudos. Um, I hope that you all enjoy your stitching. Um, be kind to one another. And get out there this Tuesday and vote. Vote. It's your it's your right to vote. It's your um it's it's all about who came before us. And especially as a woman, um, you know, there was a time in our history where we were not even considered worthy of the right to vote. And so I take that very seriously and so I will drag my butt to the polls. Um, the polls on Tuesday and cast my vote and and know that um, I use that vote to raise my voice and and say this is what I want um, and so if you don't do that you don't get to complain about it when it doesn't suit your needs and your wants and your ideology that's just all I have to say so um, I'm going to now go take some pain meds um, and I am going to rest some and I'll be posting on Instagram and let y'all know where I'm at and where I'm, where I'm at with my stitching. Um, and hopefully I'll be back next week and I'll have a better voice and better lighting and I'll have my crap together. <laughs> so in the meantime, thank you so much for joining me. If you did like this video and you know, if you did, God bless you. Cause again, hot mess. Um, please like it below. And in the meantime, I will see you soon. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care and bye. See ya. So long. Bye bye.